Cool. All right, Austin, thanks a lot, man, for taking the time to uh, chat with me today. So for the person watching this video right quick, if you could just share your name, uh, where you live at, and a little bit about your operation. Uh, name's Austin Bitfield. I live in central Nebraska. Um, I grew up on a family farm. I'm currently running three semis over the road and farm about 850 acres with my dad and his older brother. Okay, perfect. And then wife and kids at home too, right? Yep, got a wife and two kids, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. All right, awesome. So, okay, we'll jump into questions. But first one is, is, is what was not working in life and business, Austin, before joining Legacy Farmer? Because you've been listening to the podcast for a long time. You've been following for a long time. All right, so what yeah. were the things that were not working? So I was just kind of, I was kind of in a struggle with myself trying to grow in anything I was doing. The farming wasn't cash flowing. I mean, every year you go into the bank and they tell you that we're going backwards. And I was looking at adding trucks, but scared to jump, I guess. We, we were um, just kind of consistent with where we were. I'd been running the truck personally for myself for the last six years and had another driver that had been with me five and I was to the point I needed to buy another truck, but just didn't want to do it. And I was, I was also struggling with the issue of being in a truck all the time. I was trying to farm, farm by day, truck by night. And I, I, after joining, we put two more drivers in trucks and I'm no longer over the road, getting the home time that I wanted. Well, and that's the thing is what was life like when you didn't have the home time? <laughs> it, it was a struggle. I mean, my wife was basically a single parent is what she was doing. And I mean, I didn't see the kids. I was gone before they woke up in the morning and I didn't get home till everybody was in bed at night. Yeah. What kind of toll do you think that takes on a marriage if you do it for several years? <laughs> I can say if I stayed on the path I was on, I don't know that I would have maintained a marriage, yeah. honestly. And a lot of guys are in the same boat, man. And they're just trying to figure out because it's like, you know, the, the truck and by night you're doing that because it's making you money because you're losing the money on the farm. <laughs> and that's what I was doing. I was just trucking as absolutely hard as I could. I mean, sleeping two, three hours a day, just trying to keep everything afloat. And then try to go home and show up and be a good husband and a good father <laughs> and be where you want to be out there. Yeah, well, I would say my, my patients were worn thin at that point. I wasn't the yeah. best person to be around any day of the week. Yeah, and it's not at any, I mean, it, yes, it is your fault, but anybody who's burned out like that, right? Like, like what percentage of farmers and ranchers or just ag business owners do you feel are in the position right now that you were before joining here? I would say all of them. <laughs> I mean, 99% of them. Yeah, and just face and burn out all the time. Yep. Just work harder and you'll, you'll cover your expenses. As we'll get, as well. Yeah, we'll get you there. Need more money, just go put in more hours. Well, there's only 24 hours in a day and I'm working 25 basically. Yeah. Now, so <laughs> what else can I do? Okay, man, what, what was the biggest thing that changed for you, Austin, once you joined? My relationship with my wife and my family, 100%. I mean, my, my wife said since I came in, she's like, I don't know what changed. She's, she's like, you're more of a family person. We get to see you. You're my whole demeanor has changed in the house towards the family. I guess see them and I'm, I've organized my business structure a lot better since coming in as well. I mean, everything I could tell you yeah, pretty much anything about my business with simple click of a button now, whereas before I was kind of questioning where we were financially. <laughs> everybody, like everybody before us was like, yeah, what, what are you talking about? What business structure? What are you supposed to be organized? What do you mean? Yeah. Right. But so do you feel like, you know, you made drastic changes, right? And in, inside the, the house, now that you're home more, do you think that was a result of first getting the business organized and, and making the big moves and the, and the stuff you needed to do financially in order to get there? A absolutely. Getting me out of the truck and getting some actual downtime to actually organize and maintain what I had been doing. I wasn't spinning my wheels 24 yeah. seven. I mean, yeah. If it, if it wasn't for the organization, taking those leaps, putting a couple more drivers on the road to cash flow my farming hobby. I, I never would have been here. Yeah. Well, and two, you know, taking the time, you know, you, t you called it downtime, creating that downtime to, to work on the business instead of being in the truck 24 seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, how, why do you, what do you think is the biggest reason that guys struggle with making that jump? Why, why do you feel it took you forever to make that jump? Cause it was a big decision for you coming in here. I know it was tough, but what, what was the pushing point? Um, I guess I, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> just tired of burnout. Well, yeah, I just, I mean, it, you can only work so much before, I mean, you just can't handle it anymore, I yeah. guess. Yeah, it just takes too much of a toll on, just not on the business, but especially the family too. And with a lot of guys too, man, they're, like they're struggling. If they're struggling in business, it's almost a guarantee then that they're struggling in family and the pain of, of not being where we want to be with the family. It's a heck of a lot more painful than, than any business problem. Well, and I, I found myself pushing my, because my wife works out of the home and I was pushing her to work harder because I felt like I wasn't cash flowing and I feel like I'm not providing for my family. And yeah. that's, I mean, that creates a lot of tor turmoil in itself, just expecting more out of her and being a full-time parent. Well, and it creates a lot of turmoil inside of guys like you and me too. Yeah, it, it does. And when a I, man feels like he can't provide. Yeah. It makes you feel inadequate. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what we're here to do. So, okay, man, well, you've been inside of, you know, Legacy Farmer for, for several months now. What's out of everything that we do here, right? You've come in, you've utilized the trainings and tools and, and jumped on the boardroom calls. So what's your favorite thing? I'd say I have two. I, I really enjoy the trainings. I mean, it. I can sit down at night and go through those and kind of, well, like I said, structure my business better, make that look better. But I'd say the number one thing is probably the camaraderie. I mean, just the chats, all the guys that we are involved with. I mean, it makes you feel like you're not the only guy out there. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the only one that's struggling working 24 seven or coming in. I wasn't, Yeah. there's Has a lot of guys like me. They've accepted it. <laughs> Has it been helpful seeing other guys though, making changes? Has, oh. it, has it given you the courage to go do that stuff yourself as well? Yeah, absolutely. I, we, we've got a couple of guys that are making huge jumps right now and just seeing that they were willing to make that step. I mean, it shows me I can do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, and the other thing too, is with our network and, and you know, our calls and what we talk about, do you feel like there's anything else like this in the ag industry? I've never seen anything like this. I mean, it, it was a blessing that I came across this on Facebook. I mean, I, I watched it over and over and over and thought, it's like, it, it's got to be a sham. I really did. <laughs> the more I watch, the more your podcasts I watch, it's like, I think this guy actually knows what he's talking about. <laughs> they, they getting in here. I mean, I've, there's, I've never seen anything like this. And I've explained it to friends what I've been through and what I'm going through. And yeah, they, they're not 100% sold on what I'm seeing either, but I, I got results to show it <laughs> yeah. oh and that's the thing is the proof is in the numbers the proof is in the time that you've you're spending with with wife and kids the proof is in the bank account yeah well, like anybody else can have stories but my proof I say, anybody can say what they want but my wife's happy and i'm happy and that's all that really matters at this point yep. i absolutely agree well you know i'll ask you this what was the thing because you know you were sitting on the edge we had like two or three conversations before mm -hmm. you did right what was, and in that last conversation, right? I remember how it went. I don't know if you remember, but I remember. Oh, exactly absolutely. How so how, how did it go? And what, what did I say that ultimately pushed you over the edge? Cause you committed. Yeah. I, I, I was on the fence. I mean, it seemed like a lot of money and without any kind of guarantee, I mean, it, it's impossible for you to guarantee what we're going to see without our own inputs. And I, I kept telling you, no, no, no. And you told me that if I didn't, see results in the first two three months and i was putting in the effort and putting in the time and the the results weren't there you'd refund me a hundred percent i said wow oh, i ain't worried about it then i said let's go for it <laughs> and here we are yep so do you feel like your return and you don't have to share the investment but do you feel like your return on the investment has as far exceeded it uh, that's funny because i actually just went into the bank yesterday did my balance sheets for this year and yeah my investment paid for itself tenfold already <laughs> and uh, just financially right and then yeah. time energy yeah. spending more time with the family like all those different results that we've created there yeah the, the stuff you can't put a number on i mean way more than tenfold 
but I mean, just financially, I just in a year's time, I've seen tenfold of my investment. Yeah. And a lot of, a lot of people that fill out applications too, man, they, they want to know, well, what's the guarantee going to be? Well, I don't know one business where there is a guarantee. Yep. Like that we're in the, like our, our network and, and what we talk about on the calls is all the different problems that people are facing and we're solving problems. Like there's, there's one certainty in business. There's going to be an endless list of new problems. So what guarantees are you looking for? What I want to know is how I can solve them. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, okay. Well, next question. And last question, man, is if, you know, you sat on the fence for a long time, right? You're like trying to figure out. So my, the, the question to you is, is imagine there's another guy, it's just like Austin sitting on the fence. What's the one thing that you would say to him after you've had your experience being here? Take the jump. <laughs> I mean, with, without a doubt, I mean, it's, it's paid for itself over and over. If you're working endless hours a day committed to trying to grow a farm that isn't working or any kind of business and take the jump <laughs> you, you put in a little bit of effort into legacy farmer and it will it'll repay you i mean everything will pencil out better <laughs> what do you think your wife would say to a guy that's on the fence <laughs> oh, she would say take a jump for sure I and mean, she she said that over and over since i think it was april or may when i joined she said it's just a new me and it's been enjoyable. I mean, the family's been great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again for taking the time to do this with me today. No problem. <laughs>